Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Naomi, and I am so excited because I'm about to be on my way to the movie theater to see Little Mermaid for the very, very first time. And yes, I'm 21, but I feel like this movie is for us. It's for the adults. Leave the kids at home, okay? So I am very, very excited. It is Friday. It actually came out literally today. So I did want it to wait like two weeks just so like the theater will be kind of like died down not as many and not as many kids in the theater but i was like no because this is like really the only time that me and my mom can see it is literally literally today so i was like girl let's just go and just hope and pray for the best that it's not loud in theater and that these kids actually sit and watch the movie you know what i mean um but yeah so let me give you guys a fit check i am wearing well first of all i got my hair done you guys couldn't notice and i decided to do a different color so it's like this ombre it starts off with like a dark brown light brown down to like a platinum blonde but like it's like almost white but it's literally so cute i've never done this before and i love it so much um so yeah that's my hair and i'm wearing a star dangly earrings i'm wearing uh, my through thick and thin necklace I'm wearing this top that is from Forever 21. Haven't worn it in a minute, so I'm wearing that. And then I'm wearing my favorite workout jogger pants. They're just so comfortable. I've literally never worked out in these, but they're comfortable. And then I'm wearing black, I don't know if you guys can see my shoes, but we can. Um, black Converse. So yeah. So I actually decided to change my top. I wasn't feeling the stripes like at all. The stripes just wasn't my vibe for today. Even though that shirt is so comfortable, so soft, like actually crazy soft. But I just decided to change. So now I'm wearing this shirt. It's like a dusty green, like faded green type of color. And it's cropped and it's a V-deck. So yeah, this is like a better close-up. Or maybe I'm just not feeling any of my clothes today. Maybe I'm hating everything. Because like in the last clip, you guys can't even see the color. It's like kind of green. <laughs> I don't know. At least the face is giving. Like my face the other day was giving dry patches everywhere. And now it's not really giving dry patches. So cheese. Um, again, earrings, necklace, all the things. Okay, I really have to go. Okay, so we just got done with the Little Mermaid movie. It was two hours long. A little longer than I expected. But are we happy that we saw it, Mom? Yes, We're I'm happy very that we happy saw that it. I saw it to support what? Hailey. 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 <laughs> Wait, what's her name? Hailey Bailey. Chloe and Hailey. Hailey. Hailey yes. Bailey. Um, yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Do you also give it a 10 out of 10? Yeah, she did a great job. I don't um, know about 10 out of 10, but... Oh, so yeah. what do you rate it? Just the movie in general. Uh -huh. I've seen The Little Mermaid a bunch of times. Uh -huh. So, she did a 10 out of 10. Incredible. Yes. She was the best choice. I couldn't right. imagine any other but person. But just out of all the Disney movies that I enjoy, I would give that one an 8 out of 10. Okay, that's still a higher rating because knowing you, you would have said 4 out of 10. <laughs> okay, so 8 out of 10. Okay. And Melissa McCarthy was really good too. I thought she, she was yeah, a good choice. Yeah, she did a great job. Because, yes. like, watching it and knowing that Lizzo wanted to be that character, mm -hmm. I'm kind of happy that it was still Melissa McCarthy. You know what? You think, I, you think Lizzo would be good? I think Lizzo would have did a great job. And mm -hmm. I definitely think Melissa did a great job also. But I think yeah. Lizzo would have did a great job too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm and glad I saw it. I Same, I'm glad I saw it too. Yes. But we literally went at 1240, it's 3 o'clock, so. Right. Yeah. Anywho, we enjoyed it. We just got done eating at Jalapenos. Honestly, you guys, that's like our third time going there. The first time was fine, the second time was okay, and then the third time, which was just now, it was So, it's so cheap there though. It was only $22 for both of our meals. I had the um, taco, no, fish tilapia tacos. They're okay. The tilapia was not seasoned well or anything like that, so. But they have good chips and salsa though. Like, one thing about them, they have great chips and salsa. Anywho, we're about to go to Walmart now. That was a long, long Walmart run. <laughs> <sighs> and you guys it's so windy and it's so cold it's been cold all day like actually outside it's cold and then in the movie What's up with that? Why is it cold? <laughs> and then the movie theater was freezing and then at the lunch place it was freezing do we walk past the car okay no it's right there um walmart it was cold it's just freezing everywhere like we're in the summer like what's going on <laughs> 
You guys, I'm about to watch that movie Missing on Netflix. You know, I'm a little nervy <laughs> to watch it because it's like a scary thriller, whatever type of movie. It's for sure not happy go lucky. So I'm a little nervous because I'm watching by myself and it's like 10 o'clock at night. I have been sleepy, tired, exhausted. <laughs> Oh look, it's on my screen right now. This movie, I'm about to watch this movie, this movie. Okay, it's going. But you guys, I've been so sleepy, but I'm like, for some reason, I'm telling myself I can't go to bed. I'm like, it's too early, it's too early, it's too early. <sighs> so I'm about to force myself to watch this movie just so I can feel something. I kind of want to like, whoo, a little bit. You know, like, ah, jump scare, whoo. You know, I'm about to turn all the lights off. And we're about to watch it. I heard this movie because, not PR, I'm about to say the PR, but the press tour and like the trailers and stuff, really did this movie no justice like i remember when this girl was promoting the movie and i was just like this trailer looks cheesy corny this movie looks silly and then now it's on netflix um and people are like wait why did that movie kind of eat like why was it actually like i was on the edge of my seat why was i actually doing like <gasps> the other movie you know so i'm like okay let me give it a chance i hope it's a quick watch if it's two hours i might not <laughs> Like, I hope it just gets, like, straight to the point. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Yeah. I'll let you guys know if I'm, like, freaking out. And if it actually was a 10 out of 10 movie. I just finished the movie. And why was it actually so good? Like, 10 out of 10, double thumbs up. Highly recommend it. It kept my attention that the whole time. It was actually an hour and 50 minutes. Basically, two hours. Um, but, yeah, you guys, so good. It was, like... Mm, it wasn't scary but like i did have moments where i was like <gasps> like you know because i'm just like what's about to happen what's about to happen um it wasn't a lot of jump scares but there if you watch the movie there is a time i think everyone goes <gasps> like that like it's just one shocking moment just like <gasps> and then after that first shocking moment something happens after that one that it's like constant twist 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 but no it's good it's good i highly recommend but now i am just a little spooked out just a little bit just a little bit so i'm about to be watching like two youtube vlogs and then i'm gonna go to bed because it's midnight now and so i can definitely go to bed now it's not too early it's actually late welcome back you guys it is saturday i have so much cleaning to do organizing setting up we have guests coming over like family coming over and I need to get the house together for my mom while she's like at work and stuff. So like I just need to do my part basically. Um, it is what time? What time is it? It's 10:28. I woke up at like nine something. Even though I have, I was expecting me to like wake up at like 11. So like I literally set an alarm because I was like you can't wake up, like I can't sleep past 11 basically. Um, but no, I woke up at nine o'clock. It's like 9:30. Um. So yeah, I'm about to just do cleaning and organizing. I'm not going to film it though because I just like my videos are repetitive and y'all don't need to see it, but y'all know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So update on what I've been doing. It's 11.44. So like I kind of feel like I've done a lot in like such little time. <laughs> so I did laundry. I got the guest room together. So I have three beds set up right now in the guest room. Uh, I cleaned my bathroom including my shower so like i did everything um wait i think that's it but like that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot like i like broke a little sweat you know um and now i think i want to order myself pizza i'm about to shower and then i think order myself pizza do i have the coin to do it no but i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> just like a little reward you know um so yeah i think i'm gonna do that and then really that's just my day Probably watch a movie in the meantime. You know? Productive but chill at the same time. Pizza is here. And I'm so excited. Um, they literally were so quick because I ordered it at 12. And what time is it right now? 12.23. Y'all. That's so freaking quick. Um, last time I literally ordered at 12 and it didn't get to me until 3. 3. So, Yeah. But I had a better experience today. <gasps> it looks delicious. Do you guys want to see it? Oh, heck yeah. This is the um, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I'm saying that weird. Whatever. Wisconsin six cheese pizza. It has feta, mozzarella, cheddar, cheese, um, jalapenos, 
Oh, heck yeah. About to devour. While I'm eating my pizza, I'm gonna watch All American, the new season. I think it's season five, is on Netflix. I think I have like five more episodes to watch and then I'm done. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion about this show, but I mean, clearly the show is somewhat entertaining to me because I've literally seen all the seasons, but it's so disappointing to see that like Spencer or any of the characters have not had any like character development, especially Spencer. Like he has stayed the same stubborn, emotionally not available person through like throughout the show like i don't know why like just the way he reacts to things bothers me and it's so cringy to watch sometimes because i'm like you're too old for this like i get it when you were 16 you're 19 now like what's going on you know like he's just so like he has no character development at all and i just don't know if that's like an unpopular opinion come for me if you want to come for me but just saying Okay, update on All American. I take back that none of the characters have had character development because JJ for sure has. Like, he's really going through it this season. I don't wanna, you know, give spoilers out or anything, but he has had character development for sure. Um, but Spencer, not so much. And he's like the main character. So it's just so sad, disappointing to see him be the same Spencer from season one, you know? I want to give you guys a quick Target haul because I got some new items from Target. All of my clothes, like literally like 90% of my clothes are from Target that are in my closet, like literally. Um, so yeah, I just got some more crop tops. So this is one of them, one out of the four. So this is gray and this brand from Target is called Wild Fable. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Wild Fable. And majority of the things that I get from Target is this brand. I love it so much. They're true to size. And yeah, it's just super like trendy, like cute stuff all the time. So yeah, just this like plain gray crop top. And then let's get into these yoga pants. I think they're yoga pants, but no, no, they're just called legging like flares. like because they flare at the bottom. I don't think you guys can see. I'm going to fix my camera in a little bit so you guys can see, but they fit like freaking butter. This is size extra large, so size 18. You guys, aren't they so cute and they make my booty look good, okay? This is like a hunter green color. Um, I'm obsessed, like literally obsessed. And these honestly go together. I bought these so I could wear them more because I need like more things to like wear like in the airport. But I'm gonna show you guys, these are literally so long, like long, like going past my feet. Um, so it's just gonna be in the house, like loungewear, but that's okay because I've been wanting like more in the house cute sets to wear. And so I'm gonna end up buying these in every color. They have them in black, they have them in brown, they have them in blue and pink. I'm gonna end up getting the blue and pink, like literally. I think these were like $25, not bad, honestly. Do you guys see how they look? Like there you go. And like right now they're even folded a little bit but yeah like look how long they are on me but they're for sure flare like 1000% they're like bell bottom flare leggings but I could never wear these like in the airport because if they're dragging like on my house floor I'm fine with that but like at the airport outside nasty gross not at all but yeah they're super comfy and they're super cute so this is the next top that I have. It's literally just a different color from the last one. It's like a plum color, like a plum purple. It's so cute. Like it's giving me like Barney vibes, even like with the green. Yeah, it's like giving me really big Barney vibes. Um, but it's such a cute color. I love it. It's different. Like I don't have any other item in my closet like that's this color. So fun, you know, fun. This is the next color that I have. It's a green color. But it's like a different type of green. Again, I have lots and lots and lots of green items in my closet, but I don't have this shade of green. So what do you call this shade of green? It's just giving very like cartoony type of green. I love it though. I love it so much. Last but not least, blue. We love this blue. Again, I don't have this shade of blue in my closet and I own a lot of blue. Actually, I just lied, I do. Just lied, I do. But the other crop top blue that I have, it is this color, but it's like an ashy, like it's kind of like washed out type of blue. I don't know. But yeah, it's super cute, right? I love it so much. Like these crop tops just do it for me every time. Do it for me every time. And then like always like pair, you can literally pair these type of crop tops with literally any bottoms. Nike shorts, 
yoga pants, leggings, jeans, a skirt if you wanted to. I mean, it's like endless. You can never go wrong with a plain shirt with a bold color. Could never go wrong, truly. Dare I say I'm gonna end this video here, but I think I am, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.